Hey Leo, this is your weekly reading for August 10th through the 17th. We're going to hop right in. Um, you've got time to go as one of your oracles. So I feel like you're ready to leave a situation. Leave, I, I feel like leave behind some old patterns. Um, but it might be a little bit messy. You got a chaos and conflict card here. Um, and then your final one is to be fair. Okay, so finding some balance in your life. Um, I feel like some of you have left a situation that um, maybe left you a little bit battered. Um, could be reflecting an old relationship pattern that you've kind of perpetuated throughout your adult life. Um, and now moved into um, a more chaotic period of time while you're still while you're trying to navigate what all this new energy means okay so the key for your reading is to find balance um, so the overall energy is four of swords so there's some, some healing work that is um, taking place and you have I feel like a pretty strong uh, message telling you to lay down some past uh, patterns. So this is Ten of Wands. So really putting down the past. Um, again, more healing. You've got the star. So still more healing work to be done um, to get past those patterns. Um, you got Page of Swords here um, as the opportunity. So I feel like you're going to have um, some communications come through. And I do feel like it is a love potential. Um, but I don't think it's going to come through until you've created that balance within your life. Um, sorry, I was trying to... Find this one, the Hierophant, until you find some balance in your life. Um, I think once you've mastered your balance and harnessed your own like um, self-confidence and realizing that you have all the tools you need to create the life that you want, I think that's when this love message here is going to come through. Um, Yeah, distant past or recent past, you've got strength card. So I don't think you're becoming weak now, but <laughs> um, I do feel like that's kind of like a you're you went from you're you're transitioning from being single into meeting someone and moving into a partnership. You're showing up as the empress, so you're full of you're you're ready for this full abundant life, um, rich rich love. Um, some of you may be currently interested in someone, um, but you have unrequited love here, so they may not be the person for you. But I do feel like for most of you, this unrequited love and this time to go and this ten of wands all kind of relate to the same relationship patterns you're used to. Um, maybe you're someone that goes after people that are unavailable. Um, so if that's the pattern in your life, making sure that you do the healing work around that um, is going to be important because you really want to step in. You've really got this Empress energy going on. You're really get. You're really primed. You're really wanting to um, strike out this balance between what you want and then the patterns that you've perpetuated. So. Really trying to alleviate those. Um, you might be in a little bit of a defensive position here. Seven of Wands. Um, but I think that's part of what you need to set aside. Um, really opening your heart to accepting love from people that want to give it. I think that's very important for you right now your outcome you have a great outcome here you have the ten of cups so I 
feel like you really have a, a really lovely full future ahead of you um, as far as love goes, love and family goes. Um, just really striking that balance though and making some peace with, with your past is going to be important. Um, your last or love oracle card here is worth waiting for. So divine timing is at work in your love life. So maybe letting go a little bit of the control and what you're used to and letting the universe run, take, take the reins on this one. Okay. So I feel like they are sending someone in. You're going to get some messages pretty soon. So be open to those even if it's kind of like not the type of person you would normally go for. Um, Cause I think it's gonna be really good for you in the long run. All right, so Leo, have a great week and I will see you next week.